I grew up a child actress in New York and I did almost 40 national commercials when I was a kid and it exposed me to film and I just fell in love with the camera people and thought they were the nicest human beings and I loved the magic they created. I remember one of the last commercials I did in New York before I left, we're just playing some video games on the computer and after two hours they're like, okay, you can go home. And I was crushed and I'm like, oh, we're being fired. And then they're like, no, no, we got what we needed. And then I see the commercial a little while later and they just filmed us playing video games and then, you know, they shot the reverse and I was like, oh, there's something, like, there's tricks. And that was my first sort of insight into, into that. And then, and then when I was 15, I auditioned for a movie and I had seven auditions for the same role. And it ended up being between me and one person. And on that last day, I said, Mom, I don't want to be an actress. I want to be a cinematographer. And I looked down and there's this little white and gray feather and I picked it up and I carry that with me all the time as a reminder of, of that moment where I declared what my dream was. Panavision has been an incredible champion of mine since I was in college. They provided me with cameras whenever I needed them. I did projects through the new filmmaker program. I mean, they just really, really, really nurture their relationships with young cinematographers, and I can't imagine a better partner. I'm about to go do another movie, and, and I'm gonna go to Panavision for a week and just like start to figure out the recipe of a lens. And that's what I love about Panavision, is the amount of time they will take to work with the DP, to work with the cinematographer on making a lens exactly right for telling the story. 